Welcome, kiddos. We're going to talk about oxidation numbers now. So this is all about when you gain or lose those valence electrons, and then you have a charge, like a positive or a negative charge, because of that. Well, that makes sense. Those electrons are negative, so if we take some away or add some, we're yeah. going to affect the You're charge. In balance, yeah. So okay. So let's talk about um, let's talk about sodium first. Okay. So let's look at sodium. So we know that we look at sodium. Sodium has one valence electron, so it would be represented by one dot. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have 11 protons and 11 electrons. Right. Right? That makes sense. That's the atomic that's the, number. That's the normal neutral sodium. Okay. Yeah. So if we look in the nucleus, we would have 11 positives. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right. Okay. We have three energy levels because we know that the configuration ends in 3s1. Correct. Okay, so if I fill in my electrons, and I'm sorry this is messy, I would have, let's do yellow, we would have two electrons here. Right, 1s2. Okay, we would have 2s2. 2s2. 2p6. Okay, so we have okay. eight. Yeah. And then we have one lone guy out here. 3s1. That's right. what the, it ends in 3s1, I know that, so, so now there we're, we go. Okay, everything wants to get to eight to have an outer energy level, so they're full, like the noble gases. Okay, so that outer energy level, that third one, wants to get to eight, or get to eight some other way? Or drop down to the Or drop one. down, okay. So, do you think it's easier to kick off this electron, or to add seven to that orbital? What do I, you think I would, is easier? I would think it'd be easier to lose one electron than it would be to gain seven. Exactly, so we lose this electron. So now, when we kick off this electron, and it goes away from the dot structure because it's gone now. Now we have oh, a full octet. So now that energy level that's now, the second energy level is now the outside. Right. And it has eight, sodium's happy, satisfied what we call the octet rule. Exactly, okay. but now we still have 11 protons. How many electrons do I have left? You have 10 electrons and 11 protons, so that means I don't 10, have a zero charge anymore. Right, you have 11 pluses and 10 minuses. So if I have 11 plus and 10 minus, my overall charge now is going to be plus, plus one. 1. So yeah. sodium forms what we call a plus 1 ion. It loses an electron and becomes plus 1. Okay, so sodium's oxidation number is plus 1. And it will always be plus 1. Always be plus 1, okay. Um, so we can predict, based on that electron configuration, um, what oxidation numbers will be, right? Right. So if we look at that periodic table, then, um, okay. let's see. Let's do blue. Let's do blue. Okay, so we okay. said that these guys form plus one. They have the same number of valence electrons. They're all going to form the same kind of ions. Yeah, they all end in S1. So everything that ends in S1 forms a plus one oxidation number. So Great. following that pattern, what do we think happens with the alkaline earth metals? I would say it would be easier for them to lose two than it would be to gain six. Right. So they'd be plus two. So these form plus two. All right. So let's now, skip the transition metals for now. Because skip everything in the middle because it just gets funky and crazy. And let's just go straight to group 13 or family 3A over there. So they have three. Mm -hmm. We could lose three or gain five. Easier to lose three, and when you lose negatives, you become more positive. Oh, you become happier. That ah, makes sense. Ah, yes, of course. So... What about four? Okay, so four, this is a little weird because we've got a mixture of metals, non-metals, metalloids. Um, it'd be just as easy for some to gain four as it would be to lose four. So... We can say plus or We can or say or plus or minus four. four. I'm writing too high up. Okay. So, okay, so that's plus or minus four. So okay. what about five? Okay, so in group 15, five, would I kind of lose five or gain three? It seems like it'd be easier to gain three. Right. So if I gain three negatives, then I'm overall charged of negative three. So if we add more electrons in, we become more negative. Right. So these guys become negative three. And following suit, what is... Group well, 16? Group 16, it'd be easier to gain two than it would be to lose six. Mm -hmm. I can't write on this thing. Okay, minus okay. two. Then the halogens will form minus one because they have seven. Mm -hmm. And then these guys don't do anything because they have eight. Seems 
seems easy enough. Okay, so there's one more thing. Okay. We So I have some that are positive. All these guys are positive. And I have some that are negative. We have names for these. Okay. So all those positive ions, we call those cations. And if you notice, the T looks like positive. Okay. So those are cations. And then we call these ones, the negative ones, anions. And you can remember that by saying A negative ion. Okay. So positives, cations, negative anions. Seems good enough to me. Sounds good.